what is going on everyone welcome back to the weekend soft roading channel uh, today I just want to update you on the vehicle I did do a spacer lift here one inch spacer in the front one and a half in the rear right out can't really see a difference but the back is going to be uh, raked higher which is something that uh, I do like but you can see here you can see in the spacer check that I don't know if you can see that but there's a spacer there in the rear we have a 1.5 inch spacer and that's gonna be from eBay because uh, I didn't want to do much cutting because uh, most of the kits you have to cut off some some studs on the uh, rear I didn't want to do much cutting but I still needed to do some cutting so it didn't really work out but hey it's working well uh, and you don't need to twist the top hat of the rear uh, which is something I like because most lift kits you have to twist uh, like Aerogenics and I think HRG but I don't know because I don't have those kits and then in the front there's a one inch Aerogenics spacer so the OEM ground clearance is 8.1 inches I still have to measure it uh, from you see that uh, large uh, muffler that's where they measure from because that's the lowest hanging thing so I'll have to get a, a measuring tape and see you know what the what my ground clearance is now but I do like the gap so I am also running OEM tires as well so the OEM uh, size they, and they look they look good uh, with even with a lift kit I might put on a spacer because you can see here uh, there is a bit of a uh, fender gap so I might I might want to space that out and then Honda was able to uh, align this which was real good overall I am liking the lift so I'm gonna stick with it and uh, I'm not getting any vibration issues or axle issues here but I'm probably gonna replace these axles in the next six months or eight months but uh, yeah I'm not getting anything because again it's not that extreme of a lift uh, so it should be you know it should be quite good 